All right, ladies and gentlemen, this is it. PS5 Pro. Let's check it out. This is PlayStation 5 Pro uh, console reveal trailer. So let's look at it. I think we already know what the design is going to look like. I think they already gave that away with the uh, 30th anniversary uh, logo. So let's look at this. Introducing. Let's see, let's see. Enhanced with uh, AI. PlayStation Special Super Resolution, which is similar to uh, deep learning super sampling. High frame rates, 120 FPS. Okay. Um, let's see what else, what else. Advanced ray tracing. Okay, well... PCs have that nowadays with NVIDIA 30 uh, series and 40 series. And how much is this? Hold on. Hold on a second. Uh, why there's a 32,000 dislikes? What's going on here? You would think people would be excited about this. Why there's uh, 32,000 dislikes? What's going on here? Uh, let's see. $700. What? $700 console? You got to be kidding me, dude. Uh, $700 for a console, $30 for a stand, $80 for a disk drive. So you're looking at, uh, $800, right? <sighs> Sony, I don't know. <sighs> I don't know, guys. $700 for this? Really? Why? Is there some other videos? Hold on. What the hell is going on? And how it delivers an exceptional gaming experience. This is Mark Cerny talking about it. When right. PS5 debuted in 2020, it brought a lot to the table. Eight Zen 2 CPU cores form the brains of PlayStation 5 and enable high-speed complex gameplay with character counts reaching into the hundreds and frame rates that can be as high as 120 frames a second. PS5 has a powerful RDNA 2 GPU which can render anything from intricate details to fantastic worlds with vast panoramas to explore. Ray tracing allows for dramatic visual improvements, including reflections off of water or glass, and the realism that comes from real-time global illumination. A custom SSD can load data at breathtaking speed, resulting in ultra-fast okay, transitions okay, uh, to uh, the uh, game uh, world. Uh, a DualSense controller has haptics that let you feel through Station 5 in three ways. Here's what we call the Big Three. First, we made the GPU much larger and increased the speed of the memory it uses. The result is rendering that's up to 45% faster. Second, we made major upgrades to the ray tracing, taking a streamlined and accelerated approach that allows calculation of the rays at double or even triple the speeds of PlayStation 5. And finally, we added custom hardware for machine learning and an AI library called PlayStation Spectral Super Resolution or PSSR for short. PSSR analyzes the game images pixel by pixel and can add an extraordinary amount of detail, which boosts the effective resolution of the games. Game creators are adding PS5 Pro support to new and existing titles. And with the big three involved, the results can be pretty amazing, with graphics showing something like fidelity levels of detail, but at double the frame rate. Here's The Last of Us Part Two running on PS5 Pro. 
It has huge amounts of detail and targets a super smooth 60 frames per second. Let's compare this to the fidelity mode on PS5, which is only run. I have to admit, man, uh, let me just go back over here a little bit. Uh, it does look beautiful. Hold on. And targets a super smooth 60 frames per second. Is this 4K? Uh, man, this needs to be 4K for me, man. Hold on. Let's compare this to the fidelity mode on PS5, which is only running at 30 frames per I mean, every, everything looks sharper. I mean, uh, I'm looking at this, and uh, I have to admit, everything looks uh, a little bit more sharper. Per second, and is therefore much choppy. This goal of delivering almost fidelity-like graphics at performance frame rates has been achieved for a broad set of titles, including Marvel's Spider-Man 2 and Ratchet and Clank Rift Apart. We can see that PS5 Pro is close to doubling the power of PlayStation 5. Another way to compare the two consoles is to look at PS5 Pro versus performance mode on PS5, both of which target 60 frames per second. What we see here is a difference in detail. PS5 Pro is much sharper and crisper than PS5. For this, my favorite is the parade scene from Ratchet and Clank. Distant details are much clearer. And here we can see Marvel's Spider-Man 2 is noticeably higher resolution throughout the scene, including the trees and procedural cars. So overall, some remarkable improvement to the games. On PS5 Pro, we can see increased sharpness to the graphics or smoother and more responsive. So what Mark Cerny is basically saying with this new um, PlayStation rendering uh, AI technology, which... Uh, has been leaked uh, by various different sources in the past, and, and I have uh, already covered this. Um, it's exactly what we can expect to see. And um, um, I what I'm seeing here uh, with my own two eyeballs, you know, what I'm seeing here, clearly you can see the difference. Uh, I, I know I'm recording in 1080p, and, and forgive me that I'm recording in 1080p, but on my OLED monitor, and I have my uh, OLED television, okay? Just so everybody uh, understands that I have a uh, OLED television. And I'm looking at it on my C2, and, and I can tell you that I can see uh, clearly there's, there's a difference. You know, it looks sharper. Uh, it's, you're looking at a high-end PC, I know it's $700, and, and I know people are hitting the dislikes like crazy, but the same people who are hitting the dislikes will be purchasing this console. Uh, let me finish uh, listening to what uh, Mr. Uh, Cerny has to say, and then I will give you guys my, my thoughts on that. Okay, let's uh, press play. This is the big three showing their value. As you've been seeing... Machine learning via the PSSR library is being used quite broadly to add pixel detail and boost frame rate. But there are as many approaches as there are game engines. The increase in raw GPU power is being especially effective for Horizon Forbidden West. Apart from the wow. and extra graphics power. Look at that. I want to go back. I'm sorry, guys. Just just a little bit over here. Uh, huh. West. Part. I know. It's difficult for you guys to see it, but but I'm seeing it on my, like I said, my OLED monitor in, in 4K, and uh, it is gorgeous. Keep in mind, you getting a, a beautiful 4K images with 60 FPS. Uh, it, it this will truly benefit your um, your television, your 4K television. So when you are playing these games, uh, well, I'll give you one example. Like the, the Test Drive Unlimited, it's struggling right now to render in the distance, right? Um, and uh, with this machine, the Test Drive Unlimited, and the developers will be able to take the advantage of that. Like, like, like 
uh, developers of the uh, Test Drive Unlimited will be able to utilize all of that, all those features, and, and, and make uh, your game look even uh, even more better. So uh, anyway, let's like I said, let's listen to what Mr. Cerny has to say, and then I will give you guys my, uh, you know, two cents on this. From the detail boost, that extra graphics power is allowing for improvements to lighting and visual effects. Wow. As well as to the hair and the skin in cinematics. Open up, guys. Door of orders. Good enough for me. Ray tracing is finding broad usage as well, particularly when the games are focused on higher frame rates. The faster hardware in PS5 Pro can make a real difference. Allowing Gran Turismo well, look at Gran Turismo. to trace reflections between the cars in gameplay while continuing to support their targeted 60 frames per second. That boost in ray tracing is also delivering big wins for Hogwarts Legacy. Allowing not only for better reflections and a greater variety of reflective surfaces, but also for further realism in the casting of shadows. I hope you've enjoyed this run through of the technology behind PlayStation 5 Pro. Simply put, it's the most powerful console we've ever built and a worthy addition to the PS5 family. Let me wrap this up by giving you a quick look at a number of games running on the new console. You'll never hold on, hold on a second. Hold on, hold on. I can't, like... I can't have the, uh, the music. I don't want to get copyrighted. Um, hold on. Uh, let me just... Uh, Let's look at this really quick. So it's coming out November 7th, this holiday season. Uh, and this is how it looks like. $700. I guess $700 for the... Um, So seven hundred dollars. I'm guessing for a digital version, and I'm confused. What is this eight hundred? Is that the physical version? Oh no, no, that's the. Uh, I don't know. It's different. That's euros. Is that euros or yens? I don't know what monetary system this is. Uh, but it's seven hundred dollars. Okay, there is no disc. Uh, again, this goes back to what I was saying. Uh, that physical media—it's dying, guys. You know, uh, I've been pre well, look. You know, I've been preaching about this. You know, I, I've been warning you about this, and no one seems to listen. No one seems to listen. I talked about it. We talked about it. Uh, we all talked about it. Uh, and people still live in this disbelief, you know, that, oh, it's, no, 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 they have to keep the physical media. Guys, the companies are not interested in physical medias anymore. They're interested in focusing on digital and cloud. That's where it's going, digital and cloud. And by 2030, 2031, everything will be pretty much sitting on the cloud, guys. I know that's my predictions, and I've been predicting this for quite a long time now. I could be wrong. I'm not a prophet, you know. I'm not a um, uh, sitting here with a crystal ball. I'm not, you know, Nostradamus of gaming. I'm not a Nostradamus of consoles. I could be wrong. Maybe we'll still have a PS6 Pro and PS6 7 in 2035. I don't know. I don't have a crystal ball, but I think the way things are looking, it seems like it's looking more that they're aiming to to uh, abolish physical media and just focus on digital and cloud. And you can see that with their services, with their PlayStation Plus services. You could see that with uh, with the Xbox 
Game Pass services that they're all kind of focusing more on uh, digital and uh, and cloud. Now let's talk about the pricing. And I know a lot of people are hitting a dislike, you know, 36,000 dislikes. I get it. Um, I understand. I get it. I know why people are upset. But people say, well, why aren't you upset, Mr. 4K? Because I knew that, that this is where it's going. Look at the cost of living. Look at the inflation. L you know, look at um, life in general. It's very uh, difficult, right? Uh, so what do you expect uh, Sony to do? What do you expect these companies to do? You know, they have to, you know, raise the prices. Uh, what, do you, what do you want to do? Give, give them to you for free? Uh, do I agree with the price? Well, let, let's look at this. All right. A PlayStation 5 right now, PlayStation 5 Slim is what? 500 $500. Okay, so... PS5 Slim with a physical media, it's 500 okay? If you want to get a digital, it's $400. Um, if they went for 600 that would be nice. If it was $599, that, that would be amazing. But I... I, I was thinking about this. They really can go five ninety nine because of the inflation, because of the economy, because of you know, it's it's a tough it's tough out there, man. You know, I mean, I don't want to be, I don't, I don't need to tell you what's what's going on uh, what's going on in the world. You know, it, it, the economy is not good. It's not looking good. I don't need to tell you. Uh, so I understand why it's seven hundred. So now the question before I end this video, and I know it's a long video. And I apologize. Is this worth it? Seven hundred. Okay, let's let's look at it this way. Uh, PC. PCs are super expensive, right? A graphics card will co will cost you more than this. What you are paying for PS Five Pro, think about what you are paying for graphics cards. I don't see people complaining about Nvidia uh, jacking up the prices to 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 twelve hundred, fifteen hundred. Excuse me, right? Uh, that's just a GPU. Let's not talk about the CPU. Let's not talk about the motherboard. Let's not talk about the cooling system that you have to put in a in a in a PC and all the other components, the memory, RAM. I mean, right? We can go on and on and on. And you're looking at three thousand, four thousand dollars minimum to 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 achieve. Uh, you know, that, that 4K60 or go a little bit higher than that. And here you are, you're getting a console, something that's convenient, something that will benefit you. Click and play right away where you don't have to worry about, ooh, uh, fiddle this, fiddle that, adjust this, adjust that. You don't have to worry about the adjustments, right? While on a PC, that's all you're going to, going to be doing. It's adjusting and adjusting and fiddling and fiddling and fiddling. We, we talked about this on my live stream yesterday, me and um, my members. Uh, and and uh, look, I, I understand why you... I understand, I understand both sides of the coin. Please hear me out. And I know this video will be split 50-50. And that's okay. You can make everyone happy. It is what it is. But I'll just give you my opinion before I end the video. I I understand on one side of the coin why you guys are upset and why you're uh, disliking this and why you are upset. I totally understand why you're upset. 100%. I, I totally feel you and I understand. But on the other side of that flip side of the coin, I also understand why some people are excited about this because they understand today's economy. They understand, you know, the inflation and, and it is what it is. And they also understand that this is more convenient. You know, me and Cameron talked about this. Me and my friend Cammy, we talked about this. This is convenient. You know, you are paying 700 for convenience. 
to be rendering these games at a, at a beautiful 4K, uh, at 60 FPS, beautiful advanced ray tracing, right? With HDR on your beautiful OLED TV screen, right? Or whatever TV you have, doesn't matter. You will appreciate and enjoy these amazing games, right? At the comfort of your living room or your bedroom. And the PC, to me, cannot change that. Because PC is too expensive. And, and PC, uh, constantly you have to fiddle with the settings. You have to adjust this, you have to adjust that. I mean, I have an i9 processor. I got a 4070. I got a 3090 Ti. I, I, I got pretty beefy PCs. And I'm still struggling, dude. I'm still fiddling to, to, to get Dragon's Dogma 2 to work properly or to get all these other games work properly. Star Wars Outlaws, I was struggling with that to get Star Wars Outlaws to work properly. Do you know what I mean? I mean, ladies and gentlemen, you know, 700 you paying for the convenience. You know, I wish that it was 600 but I understand why Sony could push it lower to, to 600 it would it would have been nice it would have been beautiful if sony was able to to push it down to 600 but you have to remember man they have to pay a lot of money for the production of this manufacturing this you know the the the, the, the cpu the gpu right the cooling all of that stuff the memory ram uh all of that man it it, it you know you gotta understand man it, it's if the economy was better, if things were better, I think maybe Sony would be able to, you know, shave the price down to, to 600, shave it down to 600, right? Or 550 for those of you who don't want the disc or without a disc or something like that. But you have to remember, ladies and gentlemen, we're, we're in 2024. I mean, things are different. Um, and the economy this year, it's been just wow, right? The inflation, cost of living, it's just, <laughs> I don't need to tell you. If you know, then you know. And I'm sure you do know. Uh, so, uh, it, it is what it is, ladies and gentlemen. I think this is a great uh, addition to those of you who already have a PlayStation 5. And I think you will benefit greatly with the PS5 Pro. And I think you will notice that benefit once you start uh, playing this this holiday season but the, one of the greatest benefits you will get from this console is next year 2025 with the release of the behemoth which is grand theft auto 6 so with grand theft auto 6 you will truly see the benefit of this console you will truly appreciate the benefits that the uh, uh ps5 pro has all right guys well anyway I'm, i apologize sincerely guys i apologize sincere sincerely for making this uh, a long video I, I truly am sorry please forgive me but you have to understand there was so much for me to cover here there was so much i have to say i have to listen to mr cerny uh so please understand that i wish i could make this video shorter but it is what it is my sincere apologies thank you all for watching love you all stay safe and god bless